Hello, this is Johnny Liu. Uh, I went and we did the configuration on the fan and everything. I took out the Marquia, the, the LED light, uh, because it was draining the battery too much. And this is what it looked like before. The, the last video I showed you, I added this. Uh, turn out that if you add this and add the fan with a double fan, it's going to eat up your battery real fast. <clears throat> with both of them together, it's going the battery will die in 10 minutes. With this only, it will probably die in 15 minutes. So I went and we did the, the whole configuration setup so that hopefully the battery will last uh, at least two hours, okay? Uh, that was before the fan was added. So now we added the fan and so we're gonna test it and see if it actually lasts for, uh, for two hours. Now make sure you put the cable all correctly in here because what I did it was I put the cable in the wrong place and turn out my controller doesn't work so the controller need to be on the wait it say uh, controller and then this one this is the controller this is actually the SD card that just plug in and the blue have to be facing toward you and then the blue facing this way okay and then this one, the black is facing toward you, and the silver is facing toward the board. So don't get that messed up because if you get it messed up, it's not gonna work. All right. And the way I, the way I have it, this configured and done. Let me uh, unplug this real quick. Unplug the power, and unplug this. Okay. I don't want to unplug it too much, or so I have to put everything back on. So it's gonna be a little bit more headache for me. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. What I did is I bought this uh, uh, Raspberry Pi that came with the case. You know, so let me unplug this part so I could bring it closer to you. Okay. And uh, instead of putting the fan in the back of the Raspberry Pi, which I did last time, and then put the the metal stand at the bottom to to hold it up, I took all the metal stand away. And I put the double, uh, double thing to call it. I have a, I will have it on description where you could, you know, I put one in here, and one over here. So one's in here, and then you just like, you could peel it off and put it on. It's not like it's not tape. It's just like a. I'm not sure what you call those, but anyway. I put the fan here. Uh, I hot glue it so it won't move. Uh, first, I tape it, but it turn out that it's best to use a hot glue to glue it. And then I put the cable in here, and I marked the where pin zero is located, so it won't mess it up. So I bought something like this. Okay. So this this portion is plugged into the the Raspberry Pi, which is the female, and then uh, I mean the. And then this is the male, <clears throat> and this is where you plug in the Adafruit or whatever video uh, for 40 pin video cable card that you use. Okay, the one I'm using is Adafruit, and I took out the the copper and put the regular uh the for the memory the the one that the this one I think is sixty five dollar with the Raspberry and the case uh. But it doesn't come with a fan. It comes with all the heat sink. Uh, it doesn't come with that big long uh, heat sink. It's come with a small uh, aluminum, and they come with a copper and a copper uh, copper for the back as well. So it come with those. So I just snap those on, put the fan on it, and glue it, and put on top of the heat sink, and run the cable together and uh, solder the. Uh, 3 volt and ground. I didn't solder the 5 volt, which I did. I took it out already uh, That was uh, For the LED light, so I took that away. So and then this cable is silver facing toward you, okay? Silver facing toward you the blue is facing down uh, toward the board, okay? And then just I just plug this in and uh, I hot glue it over here I bought a, a, a hot glue a hot glue gun okay and what I did is uh, I I have the cable come up and then I hot glue it here and then uh, I hot glue it here and then 
on this side, I hot glue it here and here. So that way uh, it won't move, okay? And this is the direction you're gonna face toward you. So I hot glue all those, okay? Now, I'm gonna put this back in. But before you do, uh, make sure you plug this in first. Okay, and then you also want to plug this in too, and this is gonna face down where, where the like you do with SD card, you know, with the face facing, and the the cable the thing is cut correctly so it doesn't uh it doesn't like uh you could push it all the way in. Okay, so now I'm gonna slide this in into the system. Now you're supposed to test it, make sure everything is power on. I already did before uh, uh, I unplugged this. So I'm just showing you, I unplugged it to show you how I got this thing in here. Make sure you have a good uh, la uh, length of cable back here when you push it in. You want to give yourself enough uh, cable back here. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to lift this up as high as I can so I could uh, sandwich that thing together. Okay, now it's pushed down. It's, it's clipped together, that plastic. Then I'm going to put the, uh, the audio on. Now originally I was going to put uh, where I could plug into the TV and this plug into the Raspberry Pi. But the problem is is, is that they gave me the wrong side. They gave me a mini uh, H HDMI instead of regular HDMI. So as you can see, uh, the size difference. One is regular female and the male is the wrong size. So I can't plug this to the Raspberry because Raspberry uses regular size. So I was going to plug it in and and then uh, dig a hole and put it here. Then I could plug it directly to TV and uh, use a big screen TV. But since I got the wrong, the wrong end, I can't do it. So I will have to order another one and see if it works. Now I have been playing with the system for a while. Uh, off and on so I don't know I think the battery might be already lost 30 minutes or at least 30 minutes but we're gonna test this for at least 30 to 45 minutes and see if uh, if a system still working uh, it does come with this little tiny one this little one on to the to the when you bought the case this is what it come with aluminum okay let me see if I plug everything in uh, I got the SD card plug in and I need the power. Where is my power? Where is my power? This is the audio. This is my power. There you go. So I'm going to plug the power in. Alright. So I'm going to set this. Uh, I guess it kind of the cable is kind of bent a little bit, but I. I guess it's okay. Let's see what happened. Okay, once I put this in, I don't think I want to open this anymore because I, I thought I broke it because I put this in uh, I've been uh, I put the cable in the wrong direction the, the the controller in lucky I didn't mess up the system board all right so now it's 421 in my time and we're gonna do some game demoing and see if we could uh, try some different games see if it works So my video card, this is the type of problem I run into with my video card. I was just going to say, my video card is not, not messed up anymore, but apparently, 
Now, it might be because this unit originally was defected when I got it. And so that's what that's what make uh that's why uh I chose this one to do the upgrade because uh it makes a lot of static noise when I play the game and I didn't like it. Uh the other two that I bought was just fine. Okay. So there's a chance that this video call it might be also kind of defected in a way. But I could deal with uh turn it on, turn it off, you know. It's back to normal again. So, all right, let's see if it play more than uh, 15, 20 minute, 30 minute. Let's see if it, I know before we added the fan, it, uh, it worked just fine. Uh, if it's still having problem, the only solution I'm thinking about is, is make the fan have a USB plug. So while that thing is cooling up, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now you don't have to go like I did. I bought this because I like I wanted to make my own cable. But you don't have to buy those. You could use one of your USB cable that uh that might be uh or well, this thing is I'm gonna let it run some game. Uh let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and let it run some demo game. We never, we never actually play Neo Geo, huh? Let's try, let, let's let Neo Geo run a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna test to see how hard it get. I was gonna use this pin and uh, I've been watching video where you put the, the, the red and the black on the both end. And then, then you solder it like this. And what I was gonna do is uh, put a, put another hole here and so I could plug the power either directly here or plug into another uh, another power resource like this this one have two power cable so I could charge the system and also charge the fan and you know tape it here like I did with the Neo Geo Mini. So I have the power for the fan and power for the Raspberry Pi to charge it. So then I have double battery charging. One inside is charging and one is outside. And this also is chargeable. So I have two units in, in one. Two battery chargers. So that would give me more battery. That was another thought that came in in mind that, that I was going to do. Now, if a fan works fine and the temperature is good, then I'm not going to do that. The single fan, because now the single fan is on, is on the Raspberry Pi now. Where before this double fan, the idea was good. It it got as hot as 60 Celsius, but it didn't go any higher, because uh, before I have a handheld system that I bought from, uh, from the from the eBay one time and it's just a case where you plug it to a direct to a TV and it was heating up and then the game was messing up, the controller was messed up and the system was shutting down like crazy. And then more I do research, find out that Raspberry Pi, if it get too hot, more than 80 Celsius, the system is going to go to a halt. It's going to, you know, crash. So, so you don't want to do that. Let me go back to Neo Geo. I accidentally got out. So let's play some. Now Sonic, Sonic Two and Sonic Three does not play well in the retro arcade. Even though the game is uh, converted to FBA, uh, even when I play with a Neo Geo handheld, let me turn this down a little bit so you can hear. Me. Even though I convert it to FBA, what you do is when you convert it to FBA, in order to play on the Neo Geo X, you have to rename it to Mary vs. Sam. Okay, Mary Victor Sam. MVS. And then you could play on Neo Geo X. But the problem is that version, when you get converted, it, it's, when you first start the game, it has sound. But when you play in the middle of the game, the sound just 
go back. So let's play with the Raspberry Pi. It's the same ROM that I put on to the Retro Arcade plus the the Neo Geo, the original Retro Arcade. Let me go get that one too, so I could demonstrate what I'm what I'm talking about. No sound issue with the with Raspberry Pi. Now this one Neo Geo, I have separated them to Christmas uh, version and stuff like that. So I'm not sure where Sonic 3 located. I bet it's probably is in is in the one that the 190 132 because that's where it, because the Sonic 3 hard fighting Sonic 3 does not does not work on. Doesn't really work well. See, this one sound kind of bad. So let's play halfway, and then we're gonna go ahead and pause the game after level one finish. So I'm gonna turn this one down. I'm not doing very well. I'm getting beat up. So you got no problem uh, playing level one. This one, apparently you do, you know. This one, if you were to play it, This one, if you was to play it, you will. The sound will not work anymore.
I think the sound is already happening, but you don't hear any sound that much anymore. I didn't touch the volume. The sound is already uh, messed up already. Yeah, there's no more sound. I turn it up real high. There's no more sound on this one. See, sound stop. Okay, see, sound is up, all the way up, but there's no more sound on this one. So that's the that's the uh, the problem with uh, after converting to FBA, it, 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 the sound is gone. There's no more sound. This one we play all the way the level one finish the sound still there so this one does not work okay so just FYI those of you who's playing the retro arcade I know you guys asked me that why is there's no sound uh, there's nothing I could do I mean the conversion the I got converted with 100% no error but still it won't play I don't know why that's, this is the same problem with Neo Geo X as well as Retro RK. Okay? They use the same format with FBA and they have the same issue. This one apparently no problem. The, the thing is playing just fine. So we start at 4. It's already been 10 minutes already and it's still running pretty good. Uh, let's try a different game. Let's try some home game. Like uh, Sega Genesis, not the hack one. This is all hack version. Let's try one without a hack. You have Amiga. Now I haven't played Amiga on the. I don't know is there anything special I have to do, but this is a Amiga game. Let's try Amiga Better Batman. So I don't play Amiga that much, so I don't know. Do I need some special keyboard or, or stuff to make it work? Don't know. But the Amiga does not work on on the customer firmware. I believe it does work over here. But you have to go to my SD card. See, I got a sound turn out real high. The game just don't. And then the game I was demo showing you a while ago. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, the sound was pretty bad. So I'm going to go to emulator. You have to load the app first. Then you go to. Now, there's two games that require it. This one. This one and the Amiga require you run the. Dango Commander before you can run this game and uh, Amiga and I'm not sure about Vector X I cannot get that to work I only could get one game to work about on that one <coughs> so to, to run Amiga you need to start the game I mean start the program using the Commander then go to uh, go to SD card Go to mount M N T and then that will take you to the memory car. And I don't think it's this one, it's this one. Okay. Then you use the external memory car. Then you go to apps and then you look for the Amiga, which is the I'm sorry, you couldn't even see that. You're gonna start the UA Amiga. And I press B instead. Okay press B and then you're gonna look for the emulator you look for this one you're gonna want click B execute okay and then the uh, Amiga show up so Amiga only work on the and then you have to uh, select the image so uh, I'm not really sure where let me go back let me see if I have anything here Guam 
Mm-hmm. Try moonwalk. Oh, did I press? Okay, run. You have to press the key button, the L and stuff to get the mouse to come out. So I really don't know how to play the Amiga game on this on this system. Too many, too many stuff. Let's try this one, Batman, and see if Amiga works nicely here or not. Or do I need a special key button too? Like a mouse or keyboard. Yeah, I picked the wrong game. It's not working. So it seems like Raspberry Pi is, is more better. If you like to play Amiga, you don't have to do any special key. Based on that emulator, you have to have special key and all that stuff. Oop. So this one, you just turn it on and start playing. So that's pretty cool, you know. So you don't have to like do any special, you just use the key, uh, the regular button and you just play it. So it's more fun to play Amiga from from Raspberry Pi than uh, using the retro arcade uh, with the old system board. So you could upgrade it and then you could play better on this one. Alright, and let's press two button to exit out, cool. So it's the same way you'd play the other emulator. You don't have to try and remember a different function. So that's the cool about this thing here. So you got all this Amiga game here. That looked pretty cool. I didn't know Amiga had that kind of game. <laughs> None of the people who like Amiga like this kind of game because they play... I... Amiga was... I play past... I mean... Pascal, you know, Commodore 64, but the Amiga, I heard, is the newer version than, uh, than, uh, than Commodore 64, so you have some cool game. That's pretty cute. That's the Amiga game. Make it darker so you can see better. There you go. That look pretty cool, huh? Amiga game. Let's try it. Ooh, one button. Press A to get in. Now it, it low a little bit slower because this uh this image was created by somebody else and uh I don't know. I'm not sure how to fix it, but somebody that, that who play with retro Raspberry Pi all the time that they say that you need to run something and, and I don't know what to do. I try to do an upgrade and I wanna mess set up the image. So I recommend that if you have everything configured, make a backup copy before do anything, uh, you know, try to get something else, like trying to make the loading go faster uh, because you could mess up the whole image and then uh, don't know how to put it back, which I don't. And so I recommend that if you, once you configure your, your joystick, your, your Wi-Fi, your Dreamcast, and delete the banner because I, I didn't like the banner, I deleted it. Then make a copy. Uh, write the image to a file and then if something messed up you could write the image back into the SD card so you don't have to redo the whole thing again. I press B to start the game. Look pretty cool. And this is a Mika game, which I, I had never played before. It's supposed to be like a floppy disk. So far we have this thing running for more than 
we start at 21 and it's already 22 so we already play uh we've been playing with a, a 22 minute already somebody sent me a message yeah uh 422 we started with a 421 so it's been 20 minutes and the game is still running good so we're gonna go ahead and test the see what is the yeah that's pretty cute oh supposed to jump press the one button all right which one is jump bees okay why jump am I supposed to get that cool So I can see people playing this kind of game for when they're young, during the their time, they like this game. Ooh, got that. Oh. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to touch that. Oh. Oh, snake kill me. Okay, so let me get out of game. Alright, let's get out of Mika. So Amika is like a 122 game in Amika. So that's a pretty good uh, set of library. And there's Amika 32 CD version. Ooh. And there's 32 game here. And then there's another Amika. Ami oh, this is a, hey, I don't know, I can't pronounce that. Abstrained CP, CPC. So that's those game. And then you have Atari ST, Atari S Commodore 64, which had 47 game, and this is uh, Atari ST, which is 437 game. Wow. Okay, and let's go ahead and see what is the what's the temperature right now on the system. So we're gonna go to Raspberry Pi, and we're gonna look at the system information. Collection theme reset control black basil jukebox show IP. I don't know if show IP have the System information. There you go. All right. Press A. Is it A or B? I think it should be A, isn't it? Let's try B. There goes B. All right. So we're gonna see what the temperature is. All right. So it is sixty-four Celsius with one. Uh, so that's not bad. I mean. Before, I have uh, 60 Celsius, but I only have one uh, two fan. And plus, and the battery was draining like crazy. Okay? Like, in somebody say 15 minutes, it died. And with one single fan, I'm still running. And it's already uh, uh, 446, so that's already 30 minutes. And it's still running. So, and I haven't had a shutdown, so that's good. So, the... The fan is running and it's cooling the system and 64 Celsius. So that's not bad. As long as it stay in that temperature, doesn't go up anymore, then we're in good shape. Okay. So it seems like with one fan and the system is still running with a, with a, a standalone, standalone battery. Okay. And I already been playing uh, off and on trying to get the, the stuff set up. So probably lost some battery already. 
But if I could, you know, it's supposed to stay at least two hours. That, that was before we added the fan. So hopefully by adding the fan, we should could still could have, you know, two hours of play time. So if that is the case, then that would be a good upgrade, which I, uh, what I did just now. And I will give you the link of uh, the, the Raspberry Pi that come with the case. Now, I didn't put the cover back on because I, f I have a cable that's coming all out of the system. So I don't feel, oh, sorry. I don't feel there's a need to put the cover on it, you know, because it's a whole box, it's a whole plastic case. You could put this on or you could leave it out. So whatever one you like, it seems to, it will fit a Raspberry Pi case. It's the same size as Raspberry. It will fit in there in the retro arcade system. So, all right, let's play some Nintendo, Nintendo Classic. Alright, let's play some Nintendo Classic. I want to play... That's the Donkey Kong. I want to play the... <coughs> Final Fight. So you press the select button. And then from the select button, you could uh, select the... The alphabet. So I'm going to go to F. Press Enter. So I'm in a F selection. So I'm gonna look for <coughs> excuse me. Well this Mega Man. Oh there's Fox one and two. Super Mario Kart. Super Mario I wonder if Final Fight is not in here Super Nintendo is part of Final Fight isn't it? I mean Final Fight is part of Super Nintendo Final Fight Yeah Because this one, Final Fight, doesn't have Final Fight? Let's get out here and go to uh, Sega Genesis then. And play uh, Sweet Wage. And that's a hack version. It's a hack Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Where's the regular one? They have Wonder Swarm, the color one. And then Wonder Swarm, the regular one. Neo Geo Pocket. Neo Geo Pocket Black and White. And what's different between this one? No idea. That's a Neo Geo as as well. 140 game. Turbo CD. Turbo 16. And this one is always five game. There's only they only make five game out of, from the system. And then uh, PC Engine CD, PC Engine Cottage, which is 233, and PSP Mini, and PSP, and then PlayStation, Game Gear. Uh, we never tried PlayStation, huh? Collecting collection alien ways of let's try it on So it looks like the, by having a single fan, the battery is running pretty decent. Okay. And the fan is still running. And the temperature is, is acceptable. As long as it's not going up to 80 or higher, your system shouldn't 
shouldn't uh, shouldn't messed up. The only time I had problem is when it went up to 80 Celsius. That's when the system is just crashing left and right. It's just too hot. So the game is not stretch, it's no more screen size the way it's supposed to be. Oh man, I got beat up. No fun. <laughs> Bloody warrior. Alright, let's play this one. Oh man, I got out. Okay. Press A. So it's four four fifty five, that means it's only thirty minutes and the system's still running. That's good. I haven't crashed yet. I like the Raspberry Pi because the emulator is, is original. I feel like you're playing the original game system where when you play the retro arcade without the upgrade, you, you, you know you're playing, you're playing like a, feel like you're playing a hack version or, you know, because the system sound and everything does not play, you know, correctly. Haha, <laughs> I suppose jump instead of spinning. There you go, jump, 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 B, B jumping. Oh man, really? That's what happens when you don't play video game a lot. You forgot how to play. Okay, B, jump. Jump, B. Uh, B. Ah, oh, I forgot the box. Can I get the 
I shouldn't break the box so I could jump and get that one. Oh. Oh, almost fall. Ah, uh, fall again. Man, I'm not good anymore. Let's get out again. So that's PlayStation. They got a couple of different ones. I like this game. Ah. Uh. One bun. It's the cotton. It's a shooting game. They have it on a Super Nintendo and the May. The May have the 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 arcade version one. And this is a PlayStation one, so it's pretty cool. Ah. Game over. I've been playing arcade a lot, so I like to play arcade version. I used to play that long time ago, Jackie Chan. Okay. He actually rebooted after uh, so it was now it's five o'clock so it's four twenty one so you play about forty some minute four twenty two so about forty about forty minute so the system rebooted so as you can see so forty minute roughly forty to forty five minute uh, because I was using the battery it wasn't fully charged. Uh, it was fully charged when I put it in. When you put the battery, once it turned green, then it's ready fully charged, and I move it over to the system. So this one is still charging. That one wasn't fully charged, but it was. Uh, it was close to fully charged. I think maybe like because it was like seventy five percent because I was trying to get the system configured, and then I messed it up. I just turned the power on and off, on and off. When you put the power off, off and on a lot. It drained the battery as well. So let's go ahead and test this, uh, find out the system, uh, what's the temperature now, since the system did reboot it. So let's see what is the temperature. Let's go to, let's 
Where's Raspberry? Do I pass it? Pop. Oh, here we go. Raspberry. Press A. Okay. Let's go to the system. Here it goes. System information. Let's see what is the what is the temperature now. Okay, temperature went up to 68. So it is getting warm to 68 instead of 64 a while ago. So it went up 4% because we've been constantly playing game. Okay, so the battery life uh, is, is, is low. I mean, uh, let's see if we could pop this open and see the, the because there, he said there's indicator light up here on the system. Yeah, it's on the last one. It's called a uh, uh, LED one. So there's like a two and a three. So when I was playing, it was on L L LED two. So I don't know if you guys could see that. See, it's on the last uh, block. LED two one. So it was on two when I when I start playing it. So if you have it all on three, charge it fully charged with three. Uh, light, you might be able to at least play in an, uh, an hour, maybe hour and a half. So that's my uh, roughly. Uh, my guess is, I'm on I'm on my last block. So you probably could play close to an hour uh, with the fan put in here. Okay. So, but without the fan, you could play. I think close to two hour, but then you will get overheated. And the system was still malfunctioning, so either way, either way it might be a problem. But uh, right now it looked like my guess. I it's not. Uh, the reason I say I guess because my battery was not fully charged. So I will play again one more time. Uh, see if it will last at least an hour. Right now it it lasts about close to. Uh, let me see, close to forty minutes okay that we have do we have tested okay so that's not bad 40 minutes it's not too bad now if you want to play it all the time you could plug the power directly on it you know the AC power directly on it and just play like that you know plug it in here and just play like that all right thank you for watching hope this helped you guys I know you'll be frustrated like if you only could play 15 10 minutes that's crazy you know but at least you could play 40 minutes you know Without the charge, without you know, after charging, it's not bad. Forty minutes, not not too bad. Then you could plug it in and you could play all the time, you know. Or you could just you know use one of this, you know, and then and uh plug in directly to the system, and then have a backup battery, so you got double double battery. Because Neo Geo, I use this. Oops, sorry. Let me zoom back up. Neo Geo, I use this to to charge anyway. So you could you use, use this to plug in here and then have a extra you know battery pack and this is like a uh, sixteen dollar so you could buy one of this from raspberry pi i mean not raspberry pi from amazon and i'll give you a link too uh this is what it call okay and and then you just you just plug it in to this side to charge and then this is for uh, power power the system okay thank you for watching hope this helped uh thank you and i'll talk to you later oh by the way this is i also bought this cable so you need this kind of cable to charge if you're going to use the uh the extra pack this one also have a button this is made for raspberry pi and that's what we have inside so if you're going to use the external battery uh ooh, this one don't have the extra i need to convert the adapter you could plug in here and then uh, plug it into the, the system so that you have a uh, yeah this is for another converter this is for the original retro arcade they use a, a thicker connection <clears throat> instead of thinner one okay thank you for watching talk to you later bye bye